Yo, what is up guys? This is Animal. Today I bring you a new video and it's gonna be a little bit of everything. <laughs> I pretty much jam-packed this video with a lot of things so we're starting with the Ascended Challenge. Uh, the Ascended Challenge this week is kind of tricky but still kind of doable by yourself if ever you're the lone wolf type of player. You'll just have to take your time by a lot. Uh, if you have teammates, it's super easy. They, they just have to help you out with the ads and all that kind of stuff while you take the sword and just destroy everything. You have to take out the knights with the sword and make sure you don't get rid of the sword because you need the sword to get to the chest from what our experiences were. Uh, as soon as we destroyed the knights with the sword, we could follow a little, uh, I think it, well, it, it almost looks like Tolan, so you just follow the little blight that's going to appear in the middle, and you will have to jump over rocks. Uh, <laughs> make sure you do not fly off and get hit by the rocks, because they do hit you pretty hard and will make you lose your pathway. Uh, you can always reswing trough out the rocks and all that kind of stuff like I'm gonna show uh, if you're all D1 vet you know you can literally do that to swing to rocks and this and that with the sword uh, it saved me a couple times because trust me as you can see here the platform disappeared I get hit by a rock and I'm like oh my lord so I'm just gonna swing to the next rock yeah a little bit crazy but that's your ascended challenge for a week four if i remember correctly uh the next thing uh, i got the gold shell by the way and the dreaming city gold shell so now i can find the the, the chesses and the boreons a lot easier so yeah very happy about that it was about time so next thing on the list is sleeper sleeper supposedly is going to be getting looked at by bungie because it is the only viable option in gambit <laughs> It is so nasty in Gambit, I don't know why, because even in Crucible it's not that amazing, it's still usable, but it's not that amazing. But in Gambit, lordy, the, the quad feeds I can get with this thing is not even explainable, and I don't like using it particularly, but if you don't use it in Gambit, you are going to get outslayed by the other team, and by far, so I use it. To get those nice crispy quad feeds and this and that it's nasty as all hell it's stupidly strong i don't know why they don't reduce the damage from far range like right here you can see bang 215 molt masters and one shot collateral yeah yeah that shit. so i hope that budgie don't nerf it into the ground you know what i mean but they definitely need to do something about this. Uh, either reduce the damage from far range or a lot less ammo. Uh, you know, when you pick up a pack, I think it gives you four. So maybe it should just give you two, like the rocket launcher. Because, I mean, when you have enough ammo to kill a super and a quad feed before, it's kind of nuts. But, hey, I mean, it's fun. So, I... I, I it's just it's a little bit annoying getting killed by it all the time so I wouldn't mind seeing it here and there but they need to balance it somewhat some ways so let's hope that Bungie doesn't destroy it but let's see what they're gonna do about it because as you can see here man if, if a player like me you know grabs the sleeper it's pretty much a quad feed every time you go on the other side every time and i still get the time to kill the invader on our side a little d-bag there because it was hilarious that the fact that i can get five kills out of this sleeper in a matter of a couple seconds it's nuts oh man it's crazy but yeah i mean i still play from time to time with other things but as soon as i see that the other team is heavily crutching on the sleeper i'm like nah fuck it I switched to it. It's annoying. I know people. It's annoying. I know. But I'm not gonna lose a battle that I can win if they're gonna use another weapon. You know what I mean? So, shit. The same weapon, I should say. As you can see here, the night, the, the new gun, Gunslinger Super, the, the Blade Barrage. Holy shoot, man. 
It is nasty. Whew. Nasty. It destroys majors like it would be butter, pretty much. It's crazy. Holy shoot. Uh, and another thing. This is the Corrupted Nightfall, if I remember correctly. Yeah. The Corrupted Nightfall, it's, it's, it's fairly fairly easy you know you just have to make sure that you're a decent light level for this one I wouldn't go in if you're below 520 you're probably gonna get one shotted by everything so I mean just be careful on your teammates uh, it's still doable uh, it's it's super cool though I mean I like it I got the Nightfall pulse rifle for the uh, Nightfall reward I should say in the the strike specific loot, I should say, the nightfall specific loot. So I got that. And on another note, guys, I'm gonna I'm working on some kind of a, a schedule uh, for my YouTube channel because right now, like, I'm trying to balance it out with work and all that kind of stuff, and it gets crazy from time to time, you know. Uh, but right now I'm trying to work on a schedule as soon as that schedule is gonna be uh, Pretty much complete. I'm gonna post it on my Twitter um, But I'm looking at something very Like pretty cool actually like I'm gonna have some multiplayer videos on certain days on other days It's gonna be review videos of either movies or TV shows and this and that or uh, other, uh, other days it's gonna be streaming either on Twitch or uh, my YouTube channel uh, Probably I'm gonna start streaming on my YouTube channel a little bit more. Uh, Friday or Thursday, I think Thursday is gonna. I'm gonna bring back the classic videos I used to do, or other game videos like Overwatch or Doom or uh, name it. New games that come out. Uh, probably gonna make some videos on that day about those games. Uh, Friday is probably going to be like today a weekly update my update video pretty much that updates Kind of like shows you a little bit what I did all week and this and that what light level I gained like um, on the refresh I pretty much obtained the quest for the Malfeasance uh, But I can I couldn't finish it uh, The next day I finished the quest and I think that was on the 26th I think I think it was a 26. I finished the quest for the Malfeasance. It is a super crazy quest. It's not long as other quests that we had before, but the moats and all that kind of stuff, it can be fairly tough for certain players. Uh, I mean, for me, it wasn't because I had a trick. I would do 15 and then 10, and then I would just grab and mass no more than five. And I would do that every game, and eventually I got it done. And for some reason, you can get your wins in Crucible. I didn't get that, but hey, I mean, if you want to do it that way, more power to you. Uh, you can get your 10 wins in Crucible, and then you can just go in and just farm your modes, farm your modes, farm your modes until you reach 100%. And then once you reach 100%, you have to do either one four-man wipe when you invade, and 25 invader or invading kills pretty much in total or one of your buddies can get a four-man wipe for you but he has to do it three times so if you're not good to go across and get your one man well your four-man wipe pretty much you can get your buddy to help you out with that um, I got it in one go for me I just went across sleeper all four or I don't bleed all four I think was one of both there uh, but I got my malfeasance done uh, but yeah I think Friday nights are gonna be like that I think Friday nights I'm gonna do a video that pretty much sums up everything on the week that I, I did the light level that I'm at uh, if there's new news for my channel uh, new games I'm gonna be playing or touching or videos or uh, anything uh, movies, uh, you know, when Dragon Ball has a new series, and I'll use that as an example. I'll probably do a video on Saturday night reviewing that uh, episode for the week, uh, or Halo once the Halo series comes out, or 
you know, pretty much basic stuff. There, If there's a Marvel movie, you Star Wars or Jurassic or name it, like, the things I like. And I know that you kind of, like, if you watch my channel, you would maybe particularly like, you know, sci-fi movies and this and that. Um, but, yeah, like, you know, pretty much every day on my YouTube, I'm going to be releasing something uh, that's either gaming related or something that you might like uh, that I like. So keep an eye on my Twitter. I'll be releasing the schedule on there a little bit uh, probably later today or tomorrow. I should have uh, a schedule posted on my YouTube, uh, on my Twitter about my YouTube. It's not that I'm giving up on Twitch. Uh, I love Twitch. Twitch is super awesome. Uh, but... I don't know, I mean, I want to really focus on my YouTube channel because that's where I started and I like creating like a lot. So I don't know, I mean, I might keep my YouTube channel just for creating and still stream on my Twitch, never know, I'll probably end up doing that, but some people say that it's better to stream on, on YouTube, as you can see over here, just, just FYI. This is the Prime Vault boss that you have to kill to get the Ravener's Heart for your Malfeasance quest. Uh, it will spawn at... It, it's pretty much RNG. Uh, it can spawn anytime. Uh, you'll be playing a Gambit game for 8 hours in a row and boom, finally you get it and you have to kill it. If the other team kills theirs before you, you still have a chance supposedly of getting it, but it's a slimmer chance of you getting it. Uh, for me... I was one of the lucky ones for this. I literally played maybe an hour and boom, I got it. And uh, I just, my teammates and me pretty much killed it. And I got my uh, heart for my Malfeasance quest. And over here you can see, you see uh, where Caleb, I think, the name of the, the guardian that got killed by uh, Shin Mal 4. Or yeah, pretty much it with the golden gun to the chest three taps. <laughs> Crazy so story, crazy lore. I like Forsaken, man. There's so much lore. Yes, I love that, man. Bungie has made such a masterpiece with Forsaken. Forsaken is pretty much the best of like Destiny all combined together so far. Uh, the only thing that we would be missing on top of this would be like trials. But right now, to be honest, there's so much things to do, so much things to do, and so much quests, and so much. Uh, power light grinding and this and that that trials. Uh, I mean can wait until season 5 easily easily uh, I'm not saying that in the mean way because I'm a trials vet, but it can wait right now There's so much things to do that. I do not mind. I'm having so much fun with the new supers Oh my goodness Bungie did so much good work on this forsaken DLC man so much good work every week there's something different to do something new to do uh something new lore related uh, gambit is super fun right now eh, the sleepers are annoying but you know but i enjoy playing crucible i enjoy all the the lore and all the power farming and this and that i would enjoy a little bit more if i would get a little bit more newer exotics i i okay with the fact that they're more rare but the fact that I got in, I think, 18 exotic engrams, 18, no, I think it was 15, since the DLC came out, and only one of them was a new exotic. It's kind of a bummer. <laughs> I'm tired of getting the old ones. And I wouldn't mind if it would be significant more light, but one light over my light level is not that great. <laughs> <laughs> I just want some newer exotics a little bit more often, but not that often because I, I, when I got my boots for my Stormcaller the other night, I was so happy. It felt like D1 again, vanilla days, when you got your exotic and you were jumping in the air and you were like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to try it, you know, like a kid at Christmas getting finally the gift that you wanted. Um, do you feel so good, man? Like, you want that feeling to stay. People want the exotics to drop more and this and that. Yeah, I do agree, but to a certain extent. The grind right now, is it, it keeps you in the game, and that's that's what Bungie 
did right, you know. But I do agree, though, that maybe instead of getting more older exotics, they should give you more newer exotics. So as you can see, after that uh, quest, you get a newer, uh, like another quest that you have to go in Crucible, uh, if I remember correctly, and then you have to go and farm the moats and this and that, and after that you gotta get your invader and invader kills. And then, finally, Drifter gives you this long message and this and that, saying that you're now pretty much wanted by uh, Shinma 4, uh, just because you're in association. Uh, you don't even need to like, <laughs> you, you can't even say anything, you're pretty much a target from now on, so I can't wait for Joker's while, we'll have to see, the legendary gunslinger is gonna come after you, from what my hunter bros said, he was the first gunslinger to ever wield the gunslinger, so yeah, that's gonna be fucking intense, so I grab my malfeasance and I'm like, alright, fuck it, screw it. Come at me, Shun Law 4. I'm waiting for you. So, yeah. So, that's pretty much it for the Malfeasance, man. It's super awesome. I still think that he needs another perk. Like, the perk that if you 5-tap somebody, like an enemy that can take 5-taps, pretty much it explodes and explodes pretty much everything around you. But I still think that he needs a buff. It needs a buff... Either give it, uh, I don't know, more, uh, like a triple tap, maybe. Maybe the catalyst should be the triple tap. Like, I don't know, like something similar to, like, okay, if you triple tap, you get two bullets back. That would be a good catalyst. But the, the original perks, it needs something else. Either give it explosive rounds. Uh... And with the, you know, the explosive rounds with the five tap, boom, you get a firefly effect, you know, that would be super intense. I think that way they should go. Or go with the triple tap as a normal perk with your five tap explosion and all that kind of stuff. And you get two bullets back after you get your triple tap activated. But as the catalyst, give it somewhat like of a poison effect, you know, like... Not as OP as the Torn was, but maybe instead of getting like four tacks of poison, every shot you give like two tacks of poison, pretty much. I don't know, something, something to make the gun a little bit more interesting, but I pretty much slay with this gun, so I mean, it's still good, it's still good. I like it so far. Uh, I've been just destroying and tearing apart enemies with this in the Crucible for the last, uh day or so i'm gonna try to get more clips out of it for the crucible part so i can make you a little highlight video about this gun i am super in love with this gun by the way i worked all week to get this thing well since the since the quest has been out to be honest but i was playing gambit all freaking weekend thinking that maybe when this gun would come out it would be for prestige to only people so i was like you know what i gotta start i gotta start playing gambit you know so I started playing Gambit non-stop, and I mean non-stop, like since Thursday, last Thursday. And um, I finally prestiged once, and now like I think I'm at uh, Heroic 3, I think, or something like that. So I'm going on my second prestige, you know. But when the gun came out, I was like, alright, so it's pretty much Gambit related, because half of the quest is in Gambit, but it's not particularly with the amount of wins and this and that or prestige level that you are at so people that think that's the case it is not so you just get the prime vol rng uh, and then you get your quest heart if you get the kill and this and that and then you just move trophy quest and you can get the malfeasance super good gun just needs a little bit more of a buff i think so bungie if you're hearing this video hey Maybe give it a little bit of something like either a, a poison tack or either somewhat of a triple tap, two bullets back, something like that. So you can really take the advantage on bosses or in Crucible. So somebody's good with headshots and this and that, you know, can make it really good. But I think for Crucible, a poison tack would make it more viable or explosive rounds would make it more viable. Hey, we'll see. Uh, look at Graviton. Graviton was like, eh. 
at the start of this game and then it became a freaking nightmare so let's just hope it doesn't become a nightmare but it's my since it needs to be nasty so let's see let's hope so at the end of this guys this is just a little bit of a gameplay with nova warp uh i've been loving the nova warp super i know it's a bitch to deal with against in crucible uh I'm still going to main Storm. Uh, Storm for me will always be my go-to super uh, for competitive or anything. But if you want to have fun, Nova Warp is... Uh, <sighs> man, it's the closest thing from being so godly OP. It's nasty. That, that I think the blink doesn't even take away from your super like Ionic blink does. So it's like, yeah, alright, you can blink as much as you want and it doesn't really affect your super. From what I saw... Uh, if you guys think otherwise or something like that, you can just leave a message down in the comments. But that is it, guys, for today, for today's video. I, it was a long one, but I think Fridays are always going to be like this, guys. I'm going to put a lot of videos of the week, uh, my updates and this and that. I'm going to cram all that in one video. Um, and remember, either today or tomorrow, keep an eye on my Twitter. I'll have a schedule posted for uh, my future content and this and that i'll be trying to post uh pretty much every day and something something every day so one day it can be multiplayer competitive the other day can be refresh stream or something like that the other day will be gambit related the other day can be a weekly my update and i think that one's i think that one's gonna be really on fridays i think i have a little bit more time on fridays to do that type of video uh, and I think Thursdays is going to be like a classic or a other games type video, you know, new game or something like that. And I think Sundays are always going to be my montage release days. I think that or a multiplayer video depends. Uh, but yeah, so keep an eye on my Twitter. Uh, if you don't follow me on Twitch, you should. Because if I stream, I probably will continue streaming over there. But I'm contemplating on maybe streaming on my YouTube. Trying to keep everything on one one channel. So I can really just concentrate on one channel. Uh, with my work life and all that kind of stuff. I think if I would just concentrate on one channel. I think that would probably benefit me more. Damn, this nasty shotgun is crazy. Uh, so that's pretty much it guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys will subscribe and hit that notification bell uh, that will keep you posted on anything related for my channel. If you like Destiny, I'll be doing a lot of daily Destiny content, um, multiplayer shooters and this and that. You know how I roll. You know how I roll with sci-fi stuff. I love it. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and a very nice weekend. Enjoy it. Enjoy the Forsaken grind. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out. Five minutes. Could go your way. Could go there.
down. Double down. Three minutes. It's close. This is wonderful. Keep this up and the battle is yours. Opponents are gaining on you. One minute. 